Hello, and welcome back to the channel. I am Seven with Seven Seven, and we are here on Pharaoh and New Era. Uh, by popular request, I wanted to go ahead and do a tutorial slash demonstration video on forced walkers and to demonstrate how they work and how they set up. Now, this isn't going to be a this is exactly how you have to set up your loop kind of video. Um, it's very loose on how you can do it. It's just mainly understanding the mechanic, which is what we're going to go over. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do just for demonstration purposes is we're going to just make this little circle like that. And we're going to put our let's just put a firehouse in the middle. Now, the red is where the person will go back in the building and the green is where they come out. OK, so the green is where they exit the building. The red is where they enter the building. And these need to be on separate roads. So if we delete this road right here, we can see the green move down. And if we delete that red right there, well, that's no good. Now they're on the same side, so we don't want that. So that tells us at all times the north portion of this road on the building has to be there. OK, which means that this is a valid configuration. We'll draw it without the building. This is a valid configuration, basically going from southwest to northeast. This is not a valid configuration the opposite way, because we cannot get a building to um, be on opposite roads, basically. As you can see, because even if we did like that, it's still going to be wonky. OK, so using that, what can we do? Well, in essence, a forced walker is making a walker walk greater than what they could on a number of tiles. So most walkers have anywhere between like roughly 20, 30 to 40 tile distance that they'll walk. OK, and that's per like if you consider a tile is like one road is one tile um, and then they'll turn around and go back. Well, we want them to work further than that and still cover a whole area. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that now. So I always like to um, the furthest portion to be my firehouse and architects post so that things don't burn down and crash. OK. And then let's say let's do police and well, we have reeds. So let's go ahead and do an apothecary up there. OK, now, well, we need water. So and it is important that you have your um, roads like this, that the top road be straight. And that bottom road not. If not, you'll have to skip a block when you get to the three by threes. So. So we wanted that there. We wanted, say, a physician, uh, tax collector, and maybe a scrabble school. And you see, the longer this gets, the longer the line is. Now, the thing is, as long as this is there, as long as you have all your stuff here lined up, you can pretty much make your housing loop however you want. And I'll demonstrate that. OK, so we have all that. Let's go ahead and draw our roads in. Now we want some three by threes. Say we want a temple to Bast, and we want a courthouse. How about that? You can just keep going with this as really as long as you want it. Now, the longer you have it, the longer it'll take for services to get to it. OK. So this is a kind of a setup here. We have an architect's fire, police, apothecary, water. Oh, we didn't put a we didn't put a bazaar in. Let's go ahead and get rid of that tax collector and put a bazaar in. You can um, really just put whatever you want in here, honestly. There we go. And then um, so as this goes down now, you can see here this green is at this top corner. That means we don't need these two bottom tiles. OK, so we only need that one tile right there. So what I like to do is I leave that as so and then I'm going to go over. I want this to be eight long, so I'm going to go over seven because this counts as one. So we're going to go ahead and go over seven. And then this part you can really make as long or different sizes as you want. It doesn't matter. I like to have it to be straight and probably no more than 30. Um, 26, 24 is a good number. We'll do 26. And then we're going to go over eight. And then we'll go back down. And then we end right here before the courthouse, right at that corner, and then connect them. And these two right here, I'll just put gardens or something. It doesn't really matter. This is just a sample on how I like to set it up. You can set it up however you want. So we can see here they all got employment. Now they're going to walk down and they're going to walk around. And they're going to go back up. Minus that one guy. He shouldn't have done that. It'll be fit. Oh, that's because I did not put the road on the north side. 
proving my own point. So you can see they're going to walk and they're going to go all the way up and over. Now, what if I don't have this much room to go straight or something? Well, you could go down as much as you want and say we're going to swing up like that. Let's go back over. You don't have to do eight. That's just what I like to do because I like to put gardens in the middle. Let's get rid of that. Now they're going to have to respawn because I destroyed that. Because when they come out, their AI sets their path whenever they spawn. You see here, they're going to walk all the way down. Go around, come back up. And back over. And then in they go. Just like that. And they'll just keep doing that same loop. Now you could make it however you want. Now say you wanted to come over, come over let's say, like that. Thank you, Ra. I'm trying to do a tutorial here, buddy. I'll say you wanted it like that because there was something in the way. They're still going to find that. Like, that is still a valid thing. But just remember, the longer you make this, the longer it'll take. And when we cut over to uh, the the video where I had this already done, um, you'll see. I'll talk about that. Now, if you wanted to do entertainment on something like this, your entertainment has to be on either side. And then your... Jeez, I'm raw. And then your... Uh, services have to be on either side, okay? So, like, say if we did, um, let's, let's do, no, we didn't need to do five, let's just do four. One, two, three, four, and then three. Let's say we wanted to put our pavilion right there. We could even add a roadblock on this side, because this is the return side, so they will ignore that roadblock. You cannot put a roadblock over here, okay? You cannot do that, because um, they'll just go back and forth and then go back inside. That does not work. You can put anything on the top, the bottom not so much so if we put that right there now say on this side over here we put in a juggler observatory and dance okay now they're gonna spawn remember these walkers these dancers and jugglers give entertainment value they're gonna walk past all these houses go up come around and then they're gonna get here and they're gonna spawn more and more will go and more will go so this is, that's force walkers in a nutshell. Like, you can make them kind of do. You can see they got all the way over there. And then they're going to spawn more. And there they go. So this works really well as long as you have the room. Or say you're in an area where you have like just a tiny bit of grass. And it's in this configuration. You can honestly move it out. You can make it however you want it. So it'll, it'll work in any way. So this is basically summing up how to set this up and this isn't a, a set portion you can do it more um you can do it less you can set up just what services you need for whatever portion or whatever housing now there are some drawbacks to this the drawbacks is is that um you know say if we had all of our housing and everything in here some of the drawbacks would be that you can't control accurate housing evolution okay because say I was like, oh, well, uh, say I, I want some of my houses to evolve up to pottery or whatever. And I tell this to accept pottery. All of these houses are going to start evolving, which means that your population will skyrocket, which can in turn make you be um, heavily, heavily high on unemployment and they'll riot and everything else, which is not good. So just because you can doesn't mean you always should. And so I, I recommend sticking with smaller loops and probably not something this just utterly massive. Like this is just so much. And you can do the outside too. You know, and the outside would look like that. And this, this will work. This is, well, minus the money. This is valid housing and they will all upgrade and evolve. It will take you forever to feed this loop. And if you watch my SETI in the Valley video, it took years to feed my loop fully. So. We're going to go ahead and cut here, and I'll be right back with SETI in the Valley. All right, and we're back here at SETI in the Valley. This is Cleopatra mission number three. And you can see here, I did that what I talked about. I have Architects Post, Fire, Dentist, Tax Collector, Mortuary, Survival School, Bazaar, Bazaar, Physician, Water. Let me go ahead and unpause so, so everything catches up. There we go. Because when you spawn in, not everything has employment. Okay, and then temple, courthouse, temple. And then you can see the loop just goes down and around and then back up and then over. There's the entertainment I talked about. And over here is a line 
that comes off of here that has all my warehouses full of my stuff that feeds all my people. And here's some similar thing down here. And here's these are all spacious manors, um, three by threes. And same thing up here as they come around. Um, so it's kind of interesting that these loot, these loops work. I would say these loops work, work better for three by three or four by four housing than they do for something like this because you're doing less houses. Now to do <laughs> to do this many houses and I still had room for a lot more. As you can see, I could add in and then so if I tell these bazaar, what do they want here? My supply oh, so like hot they cakes. want I'm going back to the bazaar for more. Come on. Desirability when you load in is always like zero. Anyway, they need pottery and beer, I think it is. And for some reason, it's not going to load in. But anyway, it, um, if I was to do that, all of these houses would evolve, which could like probably more than double almost sometimes or or add a third to my total population, which is just huge versus doing smaller loops and you can more accurately control. But then again, you got to have more space to do these. So they're very space intensive for that purpose, but you can get a ton in there. So for in this instance, it works very well and same down here. But it's not the same. It's not the best for every single map. If you do, you're really going to have to tweak it a lot. So, all right, guys, I hope that sums up how to use force walkers. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, please let me know down below. I do appreciate all of it. Um, I do read and answer every comment. And if you haven't already, I would very much like it if you'd like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subs subscriptions. I'm getting there. It's just, you know, I need y'all's help. And I do appreciate it. So spread the word, guys. And if there's anything else y'all want to see, please let me know. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.